Okay, we're going to do a proof of the theorem. If a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the diagonals bisect each other. Here are our, our parallelogram, A, B, C, D, and the diagonals are A, C, and B, D, and they bisect here at uh, Echo. That's what we're going to try to prove. First thing is we can always put down our given. Then we have a parallelogram. A, B, C, D, and we know that is given. Uh, number two, we also know that it's being a parallelogram that the, the opposite sides are parallel. So let's go have A, B, is going to be parallel to A, B, then uh, D, C, and likewise uh, B, C is parallel to A, D. And we know that is part of a definition of a parallelogram. That's what makes uh, a parallelogram a parallelogram, is having the opposite sides are parallel. Gram. All right, if we know that then, so the strategy is how am I going to find AE to equal to B, uh, to excuse me, uh, AE is going to, so, if I can make, if I can make AE equal to CE, and then the same thing BE, that, so one of the ideas would be, let's go ahead and put these, our angles in here. We know that angle one is going to be equal to angle two, because this is two parallel lines cut by a transversal. And we also know that, uh, let's see, we also know that angle three is going to be congruent to angle 4 for the same reason. So let's go ahead and put, we'll put a double line here and a double line here and a single line on here. So these lines are parallel. So now we have number 4, no, excuse me, 3. We have angle 1 is going to be congruent to angle 2. Likewise, angle 3 is going to be congruent to angle 4. Because if we have parallel if we have parallel lines, then the alternate interior interior angles angles are congruent. All right. So the alternate interior angles are congruent. Now <clears throat> we know the opposite sides are congruent, correct? Yes, because we did that on an earlier proof. So number four, we know that BC is going to be congruent to AD, AD, and we know that because of four opposite sides, opposite sides of parallelogram. Are we know that they are congruent? I'm using that symbol of congruent rather than write the uh, word out. So five, therefore, I know that this triangle here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll have this triangle right here, A, E, D, this triangle. And so I've already said that this leg and this leg are the same. So I'll have an angle, side, angle, and an angle, side, angle. So this triangle would be congruent to this triangle right here. So let's make sure, because my one and two are the same. So I'm going to have triangle A, E. Now we could have done this a couple other ways, by the way, while I'm looking at it. A, E, D is going to be congruent to triangle C, E, B. Triangle C, E, B because of angle, side, angle. Five, angle, side, angle. Therefore, six, we know now that this leg, AE, has got to be congruent to CE, right? Because it's going to have the same, coming from the same angles, equal to each other. Likewise, uh, so we'll give them a double mark. And we also know then that this leg coming off of angle 4 and off the, its congruent triangle is 3, 
So these are going to be equal. So now we can put our statement that we were trying to prove, AE, is congruent to CE, comma, BE, is congruent to DE, and that's because of congruent, congru oh, excuse me, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. C, P, C, T, C. All right, so now we have proven you got a parallelogram, then the diagonals bisect each other. Thank you.